Remove backgrounds at a click of a button so you can use them in thumbnails. That's what we talk about today. Here we go. I'll be honest, it's a tool that I didn't know existed until about two months ago and it's now saved my life. Because if you've noticed recently, pretty much all of my thumbnails now have me in some kind of cutout with an outline. It's called Remove BG. Let's go to the computer. So this is remove.bg. It's something that I found recently and it's made my YouTube thumbnails so much better. It means that I don't have to take forever in a day to cut things out and because I found this tool it really leveled up my thumbnails. So what you can do is you can either drag and drop an image into the site or click upload and choose one from your desktop or anywhere that you wish. Once you pick one, it's going to go through and analyze that image, figure out where the boundaries are and outlines everything and cuts it all off. Now I've never had any major issues with remove.bg, but should you want to edit what they give you, you click on edit on the right hand side. And now you can choose a few things. Let's say I wanted to remove a little bit more of the image that's in front of me because I felt it wasn't right. Let's say I want to remove my hand. I click erase. I choose the size of the brush and then I'd slowly remove my hand. There you go. Hands gone, I look a little lopsided. Maybe I've changed my mind. I can click undo and it will return my hand back to its past glory. Now, let's say I decide to restore parts of the picture that I wanted to use previously. Say so to highlight it, I can go to restore on the right hand side and I can paint it out and there you go. That's the bottle from the background. Or I can click on background and tell remove.bg to do certain things to the background that it's cut out for me. Either it can blur the background a little bit and make the set me the center of attention, or I can add backgrounds behind me. So there I am, shocked in the countryside, in front of a painting, hideaway retreat somewhere, or I can just put colors behind me. If you want to set color, you click on color and then you can choose on the right hand side. These could be good for publicity shots and thumbnails, make you pop out and stand out. But if you want plain and cut out, I click on the one with the dotted squares behind me and I click download. Now, when it's done, I can drop it into my editing suite. I can put images behind it, but I can make my thumbnails out of it. And all of the hard work of cutting out the image has been done for me. For more beautifully genius nuggets and tools of information that you can use for free, there's a playlist here. Remember to subscribe for regular YouTube tricks and tip tutorials, and I'll see you soon.